When maps are first created, we use them to navigate a new destination. Over time, the road morphs and changes with new infrastructure, population, political events, and technological evolution. As we look at the past, we understand how the map of ASW has grown, as well as the academic success of its children that visit this destination called Warsaw, Poland. In 1960, I was at Columbia University in New York City, finishing up a two-year program. And one of my professors brought in a blurb from a newspaper talking about a brand new exchange program between uh, the Polish and American governments. It took 10 days to cross the Atlantic. After we finished a year's study, um, we were approached by someone from the American embassy who asked if we would stay uh, and teach. The school was across the street from the American Embassy on a side street and uh, was in an apartment building. The local uh, markets had the basics of vegetables and fruits, and I mean basics, but a place where you could eat just about anything except meat was the milk bar, so-called, because dairy products were there, and it was called the bar Lechny. And they were everywhere, and poor students and poor people could order anything from um, vegetable salads to the soups, wonderful soups. I never could decide between mushroom soup, tomato soup, or pickle soup, or whatever. And uh, pierogi, oh, pierogi, all kinds of filling. By the mid-1970s, the student population outgrew the school, and ASW was moved to Elisa, Konstantinska, 13, in Sadiba. As the roadmap enlarged, so did the mentality of teaching and living. The American School of Warsaw at this time supported between 160 and 180 students in grades 1 through 8. Signs of hope started happening for Poland again in the early 1980s when the Solidarity Movement was born. Teachers at ASW were hopeful but afraid of how this action might change the school and their lives. It was probably one of the most significant events of 20th century history uh, during that time. And everybody was really excited. The, the excitement was in the air. People, but they were worried. They were saying, what if we don't win? What if we don't win? And I said, how could you possibly not win? There's not one person I know who is going to vote for the Communist Party. You're all going to vote for solidarity. But what I think the major thing that the elections did was um, open up to investment because the laws were rewritten for private private enterprise and of course the, everybody was just waiting for this to happen because they had a, a new market basically and people who were dying for consumer goods because they've been denied consumer goods so many, for so many years and they were just ready to buy 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 stores pop up out of nowhere with all these imported goods like French yogurt and English chocolate and people lining up just like the old days but and it's so colorful, too. They had all these colorful, colorful wrappers and everything, so. As the need for one campus became very apparent in 2001, the school that is presently known as the American School of Warsaw was built at Białowa Warszawska 202 in Konstantin. As it comes to my area, uh, there is a lot of changes from 1990 to present day. It was pretty challenging, and I remember the times that I had to take my team somewhere to the fields to practice track and field. But then it was not enough, so they decided to build a gymnasium in Vilanov. Once the move, uh, the middle and high school moved to Vilanov, they created a, a bubble. There was no floor on that bubble, there was a sand floor. But they kept telling us, we're going to move on to the new campus, we're going to move on to the new campus, and we'll have something better. So when we arrived here, I felt like I'm in heaven. Currently, ASW's map is changing, embracing a population of 899 students from 47 countries. Today, in 2013, the American School of Warsaw is a place where parents find a friendly face every day in the halls, and the cafeteria is the expat social destination of choice. United Nations Day is a celebration for all of Warsaw, inside the doors of ASW. The children, teachers, and parents communicate globally. Over the past 20 years, the map has rapidly changed. The road of struggles, growth, academic changes, political freedom, and economic gains has molded Poland and the American School of Warsaw to this moment. 
We are now charting a new destination.